So I've come to do a bit of digging for gold, just in a creek which I don't think there's any gold in. It's more just to practice my panning, because since I've just kind of started. Um, when you know it, the creek's dry. We're at the tail end of winter, and it's dry. I don't know what's going on. Maybe someone upstream's dammed it or something, but yeah, dry. Anyway, let me see this little this little bad boy. The water would come over there, so I've just been digging around at the back there a little bit, see if any gold's um oh thing out down there. But check out, just check out the the rocks. Oh, I better move that now. They're just it's done a good job eating its way down here, but there's just so many rocks. You need to no sign of bedrock it really stinks it smells worse than just rotten rotten leaves I don't know what the smell is but yeah it doesn't smell good at all oh. but anyway well I've got a pan of stuff I'll go and uh, there's another puddle just down there I'll go and give it a rinse and classify it and then I'll give it a pan see what we come up with well no gold just a bunch of black sand I can't believe it's dry. I still can't believe it. I'm going to pack it up now and I'm just going to explore around while the creek's down for some good spots for maybe next time it rains. In good nick. Really good nick. Huh. We'll sit him up. He's done well. Don't know when they stopped making those old pool tabs, but it was a bloody long time ago, probably the 80s. Creek's still running. It's running good here. Don't know where the bloody water's going. As you can see, it was dead dry. Just cut it a fair way down there. Whoa, look at that big. Jesus, look at that big pool. Can't walk through that one with my gum boots. That is pretty. That's the biggest hole full of water I've seen along this creek. Creek's still flowing. That was unexpected. Yeah, it's just a massive drop off just there. Massive drop off. Well, for such a little creek. See where the banks caved a little. Jeez, oh, the water must just buck it down. That looks pretty old though. The land slip here is not as old, but. Yeah, wow. Creek's still running. Might pop down there and just have a look. Well, here it is from down the bottom. It's quite a big swave it's tore out here. And this might explain some of the ground erosion. Look, see all this. That's only recently filled down and these big, look at these huge rocks. It's not that old. But we can see here the water is leaking down through all this rocks and shale I guess it is and that's leaching all the dirt that's binding it all together and then just big hunks of it just just come down you can see it's just the roots of the plants above holding out there it's getting quite deep though look at this Oh, see that's stuck there. That's 
got some pressure on it. But yeah, fantastic. Who wouldn't want one of them in their backyard? This can't be too long ago. This has come down and blocked it and the water's actually going underneath through all that rock now. Oh, a bit deeper. But look at all the clay. That cup of clay is sticking in there pretty well. Is that a good spot to look for gold? Look where these rocks are just hanging in. Crazy. Oh, I sink in there a bit. All right, we'll keep heading downstream. Look at that, just like that. It's gone. You can still hear the water, it's just up trickling up there. But here, dry. Well, not quite dry, but no running water. I'm being interested, what is this stuff called? That's a good one. You see that? What is that called? It's got shiny stuff all over it. Oh, water's just there. Goes back into the ground, right there. A little bit of flow just there. It's just gone back down into the rocks, back down into the earth. I'll go down a bit further and... That looks pretty dry. I'll go down some further and um, I left my stuff down there anyway. And see if it comes back up. I'm thinking no, but who knows. What well, do you know? It's running a little bit here, not as much, but a little bit. And wait, what's that? It's a, it's a skull. Damaged skull. The nose is breaking out of him. The damage to, the, you know what? Maybe he was hit by a car. Yes, Kaiser. Bone. Yes, Winston. Bone. No, you don't want to eat it. There's no meat. Oh, still got his teeth. Maybe he got hit by a car. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Oh. Come here, Kaiser. See, it's broken there. And all his, all his front's broken. The dogs really like it. Come here. You hurt yourself. It's got sharp bits. There's no brain left in there. Oh, so we'll take him, we'll take it and put it somewhere scary, if anyone else ever comes through here. <laughs> there, camouflaged on the end of the log. Hopefully the rain clean him up a bit, he might go a bit wider. He should be right. People beware. Oh, well, back in our spot. No water. <laughs> she goes back in up there and just sinks back down into the earth, funnily enough. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Look at all the rocks in the bed of this creek. Not fun to dig through that. Here's our stuff. Spade. Yeah. This is one time I should have bought the metal detector and gone up the creek and round the bush a bit or at least my machete because no one's been through here for a while and there's lots of vertical scrub that's fallen down I just had the spade but yeah overall that was a fun little trip for an hour an hour and a half we went long so we know the area a little bit better now Hopefully next time we come back there'll be some running water. That would be more ideal. But until then we can bring the metal detector back. I mean, this hole, like all up there seems to be a dump site. A while back anyway. So yeah, 
we'll pack it in for today and we'll head on home. See you later.